one week away from the total solar eclipse, and the forecast is showing a chance for rain and clouds. KLTV 7's Avery Niles brings us more tonight on how East Texas towns in the path of totality are planning for the worst while hoping for the best. People all over the country and the world are preparing to enter the path of totality on April 8th to see the once in a lifetime event, a total solar eclipse. East Texas towns in the path are now trying to plan their events according to the forecast. Right now we're calling for mostly cloudy to almost completely overcast skies for April 8th and it also looks like we may even have a chance of rain. Katie Vossler, KLTV's chief meteorologist says at this time a cold front is expected to move through East Texas either Sunday, Monday or Tuesday of next week bringing the clouds and rain with it but that could change. If the cold front slows down and doesn't move through until Tuesday or Wednesday, that could possibly help us. If it speeds up and moves through on Sunday and clears things out, then that could change things on Monday as well. So right now we're saying be prepared for the fact that visibility is not going to be great. East Texas towns planning events are scrambling to prepare for the weather possibilities. Siong McLaren, the director of Visit Lindell, says their Saturday events will not be affected, but Sunday and Monday could be. We do have have a movie in the park scheduled and so that might be hindered if it has rain chances. Other than that, Pickers Pavilion and everything is a closed area. Butch Bernie, president of the Hopkins County Chamber of Commerce says if it rains Saturday, they would have to cancel their concert due to the lack of indoor space. Sulphur Springs has roughly four minutes and 21 seconds of totality. This is a once in a lifetime event for most of us and that is very weather dependent. So to me, that's why uh, we're hoping that the weather holds. Avery Niles, KLTV 7 News. And to take a look back and see the cloud cover on April 8th for the last 10 years, scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen or click on the big red box at KLTV.com.